this honorable leader of the opposition, his party, a member of his party, Mr. Surendayal, had entered a case of private prosecution before the district court, alleging what the honorable leader of the opposition is alleging now in parliament, that Ravin Kumar Jagnat, leader of political party, I won't re uh, read uh, everything, residing in this district, criminally affirmed false affidavit. This is what the leader of the opposition is repeating today, what his good friend, party member, Surandayal has been saying, affirming in a private prosecution before a court of law. A, a false affidavit where an affidavit is required to wit, solemnly affirm a false declaration of candidate required under section 56.5 of the representation of, people, of the People Act. The case was before the court. He retained the services of an armada of the lawyers, and I believe that probably, I say probably because it's your party, it's no member. You must have advised him also as a lawyer, as a, as a, as a very intelligent and capable lawyer. You must have advised your colleague. They were not even able to substantiate anything, anything. And on Friday, 17th of June 2022, the DPP had notified the court of the discontinuation of proceedings in that case. Just like, just like all the previous electoral petitions that they came forward before the court of law, everything has been rejected by the court. They even went to the Privy Council, the same Sugandayal. <laughs> of course, encouraged and supported by this alliance of Labour MMM. He went to the Privy Council. What, was, what is the outcome? What has been the outcome? Only making frivolous, flimsy, unsubstantiated, baseless allegations that comes out from their mind. It's a shame, Mr. Speaker, sir.